Hey Sir Bays, welcome back to K Popsicles. I'm Paige, once again, I'm back by myself. Um, got a lot of stuff coming for you guys. You guys go check out our previous videos. Um, they'll explain a little bit about what's going on. But um, I just got done checking out the group Only One Of and their brand new song, Skins. So very, very interesting video. Go check that out a bit before this one. Um, now we're heading into a group. I actually recently just checked out um, their debut. Um, this is the group Trends. Um, and this is their song, Villain, and it's the performance video. Um, so I checked out their debut song, TNT, and I absolutely love that. I was blown away, honestly, but I was like, this is such an amazing debut. Um, I actually put that song on my playlist. Um, so a lot of you kind of recommended that I check out Villain, um, cause I asked if they had anything else that, you know, we could look at. So you guys said, yeah, they have a performance video for the song called Villain. So I was like, okay, I'll check it out. Um, very excited. Unfortunately, once again, there are no captions. Um, it's just a lot of international stand happens to us quite a bit. Um, so I'm just very excited and interested to see what this one's going to be because like I said I absolutely really really love their debut um and I feel like it's such a good kind of like powerful like here we are this is who we are um so very interested to see what this is going to be like um before we jump in I'll leave a link to our patreon down below in the description box so you can come over and check us out uh we do live stages drum reactions variety shows dance practices you can join our discord basically everything you can't do here on youtube we also post free videos over there for you guys to get blocked in our channel because we're not going to make you pay for this give you free that's just stupid Speaking of our Patreon, we're currently watching Run BTS, Island, Kingdom, The Isaac, Strong Woman, Do Bong Soon, Got Seven's Hard Carry. I also have my own segment called Pint Size, or Rex Dramas on my own. Currently, I am watching the drama Doom at your service. The first episode is available for free for you guys. And if you enjoy my reaction, you can join a $5 tier to get the rest of the episodes. Also, speaking of our Patreon, after we finish Kingdom, we will be starting uh, Produce 101 the series, um, as well as after I finish uh, Doom at Your Service on the Pint Size segment, I will be starting Imitation. So we got a bunch of stuff um, over there that's awesome. We got a bunch of stuff coming that's really fun. So stay tuned for all that. It's going to be awesome. Also, if you want to follow us on Twitter, our handle will be on screen. We post every single day over there with videos dropping so you guys can stay up to date what we're doing here on our channel. All right, super, super excited to pull this up. Here we go, guys. This is Trends and their song Villain, the performance video. Ooh. Oh, hello. Interesting. Prop work. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, you're the one who has a deep voice. Ooh. This choreo is gorgeous, and the way it's shot is beautiful as well. Yeah, I remember you, sir. You're adorable. Ooh. You like it? This is awesome. I'm in love with this choreo right now. I'm just like in awe. Ooh. Yeah, you. 
Ooh, gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, nice. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, so much to go over here. So I'm still, like I said, I've only checked out their debut and I've only checked out the members once. Um, but they're all phenomenal performers. Their facial expressions, the way they handle themselves, their stage presence is amazing for like rookies, brand new rookies. Wow. Um, I really, okay, one of the first things about this is I really like how simplistic the setting is. Um, it's literally just one room. Um, they only got a few lights going around and that's basically what the setting is. But it's so dynamic in the way that they use it because of how the camera is moving um, as well as the choreography itself. Um, this is just beautiful to watch. Um, second thing, the choreo. <laughs> the best choreo I've probably seen in a while. Oh my god. So the fact that not only are they rookies, but on top of that, they're using props, which is really, really hard, to, especially when dancing. Um, working with props is actually not, is really hard to do. It's not easy at all. You could drop it, something could get caught, you can get tangled. Um, so they must have really like been on that and the fact that not only was it attached to their, to their hands and they're using it with their hands, but they're attaching it to their legs and using that and they're intertwining. It, it could be so quick to be tangled and like pull it apart and mess up everything. One, it, all it takes is one time for it to just screw everything up. Um, so the fact that they pulled that, this kind of choreo off and there's a lot of intertwining and in, interconnections in this choreo. So props to them because that is amazing to see um I also really liked um later on with the props too not only are they wearing them and they're interconnecting and stuff like that but they end up having to yank it off and throw it which um I've seen other people like using props like strings and stuff and they go to throw it and then it gets caught under somebody's foot and it's just like bam there so you got to be careful when you're dancing because you could slip on it or whatever um so like I said they did a phenomenal job with the props uh but that specifically <clears throat> not just the prop work within the choreo, but the choreo itself is gorgeous. Um, I've said this with another group that I checked out recently is I love the inner connections and the inner um, interactions between the groups. Um, the way they can connect with each other and they use each other as like, as the, as props almost, but not really props, but they're using each other to form the, the pictures and stuff. And it's really pretty to see. Um, cause you could, there's, we see a lot of choreo that's like super hard hitting and it's really great choreo, but there's not a lot of like connection with each other. Um, so this kind of choreo is just really nice to see cause it's all kind of connecting. They're using each other to build these beautiful pictures. Um, and now towards the end there, the, one of the last scenes where they're all in a line and going like this and then like going down to the ground and then doing it again beautiful beautiful lines like you have to be perfectly on it and like in the the right slow motion to get it and then like speed up so they did a phenomenal job with that part of it um what else what else what else i, I have so much in my mind from this um like i said i don't have the captions for it so i'm definitely gonna have to figure out what the lyrics are from what I can gather, especially in the chorus there, it seems to be like, in the beginning they were almost talking like, I'm going to have to save you. So almost like hero-esque in a way, but then it changes in the chorus part of it and it goes to, um, like, I'm your villain. Something about like them being the villain and them, like you liking them being the villain. I'm trying. One second. <laughs> I'm 
I'm a bad villain. Your own killer. Yeah, so I'm a bad villain. You're one killer. Um, I'm a bad villain. You're one healer. You like it. The, those are the ones that I've kind of pulled out from there. Um, those lyrics, I think. You can let me know if I'm wrong, but that's kind of what I'm hearing. Um, and obviously I don't understand Korean, so I can't talk on the actual Korean parts of the song. But those lines are very interesting to me. <laughs> Theories are coming thoughts in my head. Um, so, it, like I said, in the beginning, it kind of seemed like they were talking about being somebody's hero, but then it says now, it's like, I'm the bad villain, so I'm the bad guy. Um, like, I'm your killer, I, I'm gonna be the one to take you down, um, I'm the bad guy. Um, but then, like I said, it switches and it's like, I'm, I'll be the one to heal you and you like it. So, in a way... It's honestly, it's interesting because it's, it seems like it's contrasting itself, but it, it's also really not when you dig deeper and kind of think about it. <laughs> Sorry. Br story brain coming out. Um, it's almost like they're telling this, like, whoever they're talking to, um, it's like, yes, I'm the bad guy, but being the bad guy is something you need and something you like and want. Um, so it's very interesting how that's coming off, because it's, like, it, going along the lines, too, with adding that, like, I'll be your hero, it's, um, uh, it seems like that's a contrast, like, hero and a villain, but he's saying, like, in order to be your hero, he has to be the bad guy, because it's something you need and it's something you want. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, even without having the other lyrics, that's kind of what I'm getting. I hope. <laughs> I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but interesting, interesting lyrics. Um, for those of you who might be new to the channel, um, if you guys haven't seen any of our previous videos that when we talk about dark things, I am generally the person who, um, I tend to take a liking towards villains in stories and I don't know why. Um, usually when there's like a bad guy, um, once in a while... It honestly depends. It, it actually really does depend on the bad guy in the story. Um, but a lot of the times, like, in, like, books I read or, like, shows I watch, there's, like, one bad guy that always kind of just steals my heart in a way. Um, my favorite villain of all time is Joker. Because, um, you know, Batman's my favorite superhero, but villain-wise, villain, villain -wise, like, it doesn't matter in what universe, Joker is, like, my favorite villain of all time. Um... So it's just, it's really interesting when they kind of do songs like this or, like, I hear, you know, groups talking about certain uh, concepts like this where they go, like, they're talking about them being the bad guys and doing things like that. So it's, like, it's interesting because it's, like, they're, they're, they come off as the bad guys that maybe they're, they're not bad in general, but they're kind of, they've had to be bad. Like, they were pushed into it for some reason. Um... But that's also coming from my author brain, um, because I write stories and stuff my, like myself and that character development. Also, just want to point out the fact they're all wearing Vans, and they kind of match my shoes, I think. Or at least are they, are they Vans? They might not be Vans. They look like Vans. I think they're Vans. <laughs> they look like, um, a pair that I have or that I have had. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that and I had to point that out because I was like, hey, Vans. Um... But yeah, so that's kind of what I got out of the video and the song itself. Um, I definitely want to check out their K profile again, just because I really want to start getting more familiar with the guys. Um, my computer likes to take forever sometimes. Search, please. Thank you. Reload. Thank you. Profile and facts. Thank you. Psh. Okay, so yes, Han Cook. Hello. Yeah, he kind of, he's one of the ones I remember that stood out in their debut video. Uh, he's the leader. His idol is Jungkook. Um, 
and have it as well have it was uh the second one that kind of stood out to me in the previous video um and like i said he he was adorable in this video yeah i really he stood out a lot as well um idols are becky and sandal uh and he was on mix nine uh hello leon you're very pretty hello Um, his idol is Jimin. You know. Now you're the one with a deep voice. Um, like I said, there's not many facts on them yet. Obviously, they just debuted. Um. Rael, yes. He's the third one. And I definitely noticed him a lot in this one as well. Um. E Taeyeon. Like I said, I have a thing with Taeyeon. It, it, it just happens. I don't know why. Um. Unil? Yes, hello. You ha were you the one who had the part on the floor? Possibly. Um Yechan, hello. You are the Makne. Yeah. I think the ones who really stood out to me in this one were Rael and um um, have it. Those are the two that really stood out to me the most. Um, but I remember Hankook from the debut and I was like, hello. Um, but yeah, I think in this particular video, it was Rael and, um, and, um, have it. So very, you know who have it kind of reminds me of, especially in this picture. He's like a mix between uh, Junkyu and Mashiho from Treasure. If anyone gets understands what I'm saying there. Um, just facially features like the eyes and the lips kind of remind me of um, Mashiho. And like the jawline and everything kind of reminds me of Junkyu. I could be very wrong. <laughs> but I'm just saying, he, it just kind of caught my eye. I was like, oh, he kind of looks like a mix between the two. Um... But yeah, definitely have it and um, Rael were standing out a lot to me in this one. But so much is happening. I really, really enjoyed this one a lot. So thank you guys for suggesting it after I was like, what, what else should I check out? Thank you. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this video. I've been talking for forever, but I'm just blown away. Like I said, this this group is going to be... they. They're going to be big. I have a feeling. Like, they, they have a nice, solid foundation right now. And if they just keep going, I can kind of see their trajectory just going up and up. Like, I'm excited to see what else they come with. Um, so, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I'll leave a link to our page. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I'll leave a link to our Patreon, our Instagram, and our Twitter down below in the description box. Maybe come over and check us out. I really hope that so, so much. Seriously, your support means the absolute, absolute world to us. Welcome to all of our new surveys. You guys are seriously amazing. We love you. We'll see you guys next time.